welcome back to part two of the demolition. Once we get these last few jobs done, the tradies can come in and do their work. By the way, apologies in advance for the quality of some of the videos. We had a few technical issues this week. We're resorted to having to put it there until it gets picked up, hopefully Monday. So there's the nib wall, all of it. That's where it belongs, in a pile. So that piece of furniture behind Phil is going to charity tomorrow. So that'll give us a bit more space in here. We've still got to demolish all. Half of the kitchen. The kitchen floor needs to come up and so does a landing. And look at all this. This is all just rubble. Because so many tiles have been put down with concrete. Both layers are going of, of this section here tomorrow. And that's because the ceiling down here has been, as we've shown you, I'm sure before, um, has been replaced or repaired fairly, fairly dodgily. So I'm sure that they'll have a bit of a heart attack when they come Thursday afternoon to have a look. And this is bags and bags and bags of sand yeah. that we've been sifting. Hopefully they can use it again. Maybe when they make concrete up, who knows? We can save ourselves some more cash. That's what it's all about, folks. Saving money. The day has come, guys. The uh, bread oven's going today. So just this portion. It has to go because, we've, as we've said in the past, we've got no way, no room of putting in a, a stove in here and making the kitchen functional. This is staying. This is historical. All this is staying on the outside. But this, what? How old do you reckon this is, huh? How old do you reckon this was? This was built in the 80s or the 90s. So it's not, it's not a historical feature. Yes, it's a lovely feature, but it's not historical. Claire's going to get into it and demolish this. I'm going to go back to um, clearing beams up in the uh, level one passageway. So watch along. We're not going to make, make you watch all of it, but at least you can see what's going on. Cheers. We're bringing out the big guns. Obviously, we're not going to be able to save these bricks, so we may as well go for the heavy artillery. Safety gear on. Do you want gloves? No, thanks. All good.
And just so you're, uh, in case you're wondering how we're getting by with lunch while we're doing our works, this is it. We uh, bring everything from the, from the other place. We buy it in the afternoon after we finish from here and uh, Claire's going at it, making ourselves uh, a nice roll in amongst all of the, the rubble. I think all we'll end up tasting, honey, is uh, the no. cement and the rubble. No, it's going to be good. It's going to be nice. Yeah. Sanitary. Yeah, I know, but don't look too hard. What are we having today? Brie, can, tomato, lettuce, beautiful, and leftover potatoes from last night's dinner. Behind here. I'm scared to look. How about you put some gloves on? If I pull a rabbit out of here, I wouldn't be surprised. Pull a rabbit out of your hat? Yeah, out of my, out of my yeah. <laughs> All the steel mesh, I'm hoping that we can use it again somewhere else. I've got an idea where we might be able to use it. So keep an eye on it. And it might pop up again somewhere. It's nearly there guys. But I keep finding bits and pieces inside here. Files everywhere, and then you this mess up there. Oh, more bottles. Obviously, they're beer, I'm not really sure. Peroni. An old Peroni label. Cool. It'll be interesting to find out. The age. How old that is. No, no treasures. So far, yeah, no, no treasures will go What the hell is that? No idea. For the pencil? It's for the desk. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the, yeah, the, the old ink. ink. And there's your pen. Yeah, great. Probably won't be to use it. Well, it's glass. Glass. Yeah, then I'll use my hands. So, yeah, just more treasures that we're finding. Well, they're not really treasures. Well, I'm not going to show you if I find money, though. Well, they're nearly there. We're at the charity shop. Our last piece of furniture to donate to the charity shop. And here he is. I come here occasionally to hunt out good things. That's a bit cute. Oh, and this. Mm, might need to come back later. Shall we go? Yeah. 
Tchau, boa noite, Renata. Tchau. Tchau. Do you want to come in here for a second? I'll show you something. I like it. Okay. Yeah, okay. Oh, very best, very mm. best. Tea bags. Cucino che sapre. Ora me ne esce. Ma che già c'ho questo. Eh, sì, 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 sì. Spedos. Eh, guarda un po' com'è, ma guarda il bellino, bello. That's not really meant. No, but it's very cute. Alright. We've got a bit more renovation to do, guys, so we can't stay here too long. Yeah, come on. Oh, they're a bit bye, bye, bye. Which one? Lots. Yeah, Come on, little lots. We've got stuff to do. Uh, okay. So, uh, Claire thinks she's found an easy way of lifting the tiles up. Let's see if I break it. So good one? Yep. Next. Don't get my ass silly. I'm not saying a word. That one was already cracked because he's too hard. Yeah, I'm not so sure about that. That one was, was too hard. Next. Solid? That's yeah. a rock. Okay, that's it. I'm going to keep on doing it like that. How quick was that? And they come up pretty clean as well. So as you can see, the, um, what's that thing called? Oven. I'm exhausted. What's that thing called? The bread oven. Oh, the bread oven. He's gone. Now we've got uh, both sets of tiles to get rid of there because they're the problem children. And there and then we've got the hallway to, yeah, the hallway's to, to do. The hallway's around to do. And, um, and we've got a new trick. We should get it done quickly. And by the way, come out here. Sweets. Finally, we have finished all the beams. Every in the house. single beam in the house has been done, so I think we need a big high five. High five. Eight o'clock last night. They still need a wash, but yeah. we we'll worry about that. At least they're done. So while we had a mess, that's what that's what's delayed us, isn't it? That's yeah. what's delayed us today. And we're thinking up. about doing them slightly different colour, colour. to upstairs, where because this is a formal living space. Well, the living space, we might go darker. Still with the white, but go darker. Yeah, we didn't get, unfortunately, many comments, a couple of comments, but uh, with the colour choice. A few videos back, we inserted a picture of what we think of what we're thinking yeah. of doing. We might do it again on this video as well, just to give you some, feed, some input. Okay, we're going to keep on going. I think we're up to the piece that's got the bamboo. Yep, fucking bamboo. Oh, look at these. Some old crate. It's a lucky, lucky we didn't fall through all this. No, they, they're not some bamboo. What is it? We can make a teepee out of it. <laughs> Unbelievable. All right, have a look.
Here we are everyone, end of day eight and a half. Just show you what we've done. So we've taken up the floors in the master bedroom. Taken up the floors here in the first landing. Careful where I step. Okay, so I'm now down here on the living, living floor. Last job is to remove the archway there, or sorry, the architrave there. That is, that door is being closed over. Um, give us some more space in the kitchen for usable space. Also, because the arch is going in here, we don't need that door to get into the living space anymore. So Phil's taking that up. As you can see, we've taken up the floor and the sand here. Came across a couple of little abnormalities. The floor's a little bit, the ceiling from down below um, is a slightly different heights here and there. So come across that. There's also some water pipes going into our powder room. So we didn't want to touch anything around there. Um, in the lounge kitchen, remember this was, the kitchen floor was the main reason for us starting to do all these works because it was very unsafe. So we had to take up both the floor and the ceiling tiles here. The bread oven's gone, the nib wall's gone, and then the floor in the lounge room's all gone and all the sand's downstairs. And everything is down there. It's the only place we had to store it, everyone, which is our cantina slash laundry. So that's going to take quite a while to get everything out of there and, and off to the tip. Who would have thought so much dirt? Here are all of our top floor tiles that aren't whole, but potentially can be used for filler pieces. So we've just got to put away our tools. Over here are all the tiles we've been able to salvage. Believe it or not, we've only been able to salvage about 450. That's not a lot, but there was so many broken. Um, you can just see from there. So most of those, they done like a jigsaw puzzle on the floor. So they were all broken. This here is the nib wall. Look at the amount of dust on the floor. It's doing my OCD. I just have to walk away. And here is our cantina slash laundry. That is my washing machine under there. So this is all the rubble, all the sand, and a small pile of tiles just there that we still need to clean. But can you imagine, look at all of that dirt and rubble. And then that's the kitchen area up there, just to give you perspective of the floor plan. Thanks for watching. Please hit the subscribe button if you haven't already and set notifications to on so you don't miss out on our upcoming videos.